Oh, spare memory cards. Spare memory cards fell out of the bag. Could have been disastrous. Okay. Today is every disused station day and we are going to attempt three different lines today albeit not huge lines we are going to have a look at the bishops wolf and branch line we're going to have a look at the meon valley line and we're going to have a look at uh basingstoke and alton light railway interestingly of all the maps we've got random old maps um two are relevant ish uh, which is this one, which is a Winchester one, because it has got Bays and Stoke in it. Um, and Aldershot, which has got um, a little bit of Alton up to Bays and Stoke in it as well. In theory, this one actually has got all the Bays and Stoke and Alton Railway line on it. Briefly on here. Right, so. Small branch line there, which is the Bishop's Wolfen branch line. Meon Valley Line, which is Wickham, Droxford, West Meon, etc. A couple of tunnels along the way, actually, so I don't know how accessible they are. Um, zoom in a little bit for you. And Basingstoke and Alton Light Railway, which is up there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the drone up today, are we? No chance. Which is a bit of a shame, really. I just got blown down the side of the house. Right. <laughs> So this is Bishop's Waltham, and interestingly, Bishop's Waltham, I'm sure we read there was nothing here, but actually, there's a little... Um, they've used your gates, basically. If they are. Yeah, no, Or a mostly. version of yeah, our gates, they are. the replica gates. Or yeah. Cool. And there's some old track down here on the floor. Um, so I'm guessing that, that was probably the original track and they've left that. And now it's part of the little thing. Not much of a thing, but it's cool. We expected nothing here. So we're going to do a little drive by, weren't we? Yes, we just thought it was a roundabout. Yeah, a little roundabout, and we're just going to drive around the roundabout and go, hey, roundabout. But actually, it turned out to be a lot more. Happy days. Very cool. Hi. Right, this is, um, I don't know, this is um, our second stop of the day, which is going to be Durley Holt. But it's uh, like a 100 metre walk. Um, Rebecca has chosen to welly up. I have. I have been a bit of a maverick and said no to the welly. Well, I've only gone that way because when you parked up, you parked up next to what felt like a, like a massive river. True. I, they are, so to I had to step there. out of the car into a massive river. Maverick is obviously the wrong word. Idiot is probably the right <laughs> word. <laughs> well, I think we go that way because that way goes left. Um, <laughs> That's, yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> that way it goes left. Right, hold that. Hold on, let's check the map out. OS maps. Mm. Maybe we don't. We're parked up the hill, we go straight, we go straight down there. That oh. goes up, it is that one, we go across that bridge. Cool. Okay, let's go. You sure? 82% sure. 82%? Yeah. I'm not convinced. Oh, we'll see if I don't know.
we've come to the conclusion that even if we don't find anything up here, barely hope, you know, no remnants or no nothing remaining, we don't care because this is lovely. So this is, um, you'll recognise, um, where are we? Noel, Noel Holt, which used to serve a Hampshire lunatic asylum. And the Holt itself, which was on that main line, uh, was powered by the generators of the hospital, the asylum. And therefore was one of the first rural stations in Hampshire to be served by electric. So, no halt, tick. Um, next up, we are going up the Meon Valley line. That's Rebecca, not the Meon Valley line. No, no, I'm not up the Meon Valley line. So yeah, next up, Meon Valley line, um, which apparently you can walk along a lot of, obviously we're driving, but you can walk a lot along the vast majority of it, looking at the OS map. Um, anyway, so we will be doing that right now. Next stop on the Meon Valley line is Wickham. we looked on the old maps and everything we were in the exactly right place bridge back there um, and we th we just can't exactly pinpoint exactly where the platform is because I think despite the picture on Wikipedia it's been filled in that was 2009 yes yeah, so I reckon the last 10 years they've actually filled in and there is now no longer the platform edge bit hello Rebecca Excellent. Because it's just very steep, isn't it? Steep edge, steep edge side. That looks like another little siding bit. It'd be good to see a proper map of this. But because it was built quite late, 1903 or seven. Because <laughs> it was built quite late, we're not 100. We haven't got the the, the maps for like five years before this was built, so we can't even see a really good um, map, can we? No. So if anyone's got a map of Wickham Station and all its associated sidings, that'd be really good. But this is obviously one of the goods platforms. Main platform I think was over there because there are remnants of it, although you can't see much because it's so overgrown, but you can clearly see raised bits and flat bits. Um, but this is definitely the goods section. Another bit there. Hey. Hey. Would you do two pictures down there? Because that looks quite good to me. Yeah, cool. We've just arrived at Droxford. Um, we can't really vlog or talk from here, can we really, in terms of getting out of the car and walking around, because it's obviously a private house. Uh, we'll do a couple of overlay pictures, which we've just taken. It's a very, very lovely house, isn't it? It is, My and God. the platform's obviously there, and the You can see the canopy. platform canopy, yeah. Mm. Right, just across the road as well, there is the old station hotel, which was, or oh, most there recently, has here. been called the Hurdles Pub and Kitchen. So, what did you call it? A gastro pub it was named as. Yeah, okay. Perfect. And it's now all boarded up, although certainly the bottom is boarded up. Oh, well, if anyone lives in the top, because it's all proper window, didn't it? It all looks nice, doesn't it? Well, maybe it is. Maybe they still live there, but obviously the downstairs but is... downstairs is properly closed. Maybe it's like flats on top or something. Just... So, anyway, yeah. West Meal next. Um, 
lovely sun shining we're doing okay oh now's a good time to mention quite possibly the best app ever designed by any human <laughs> being on the planet yep which is this app here you can't really see it um what that is is um what we saw on you saw on television the other day, i was on you? television on michael mcintyre right. eamon holmes had this app yeah and um the app is a your closest public convenience yep. app and it's toilet. amazing it's worked oh my god <laughs> if anybody remembers watching our um self devon railway one we were stressed out at one point because we we're trying to find a toilet we found an asda all of a sudden after like half an hour of looking and then the <laughs> toilet was closed in the asda so we went to go find we found a kfc and it's all right mess so it took us like an hour to find a toilet and we were both going oh my god we need a loop and if we'd have had that it would have been perfect oh god so a minute ago back in wickham yeah we we're both thinking oh we need a toilet and it was 100 yards from us but we'd never found it would we no nope. you would never have seen it <laughs> or known it was there unless you had the app yeah brilliant small things we'll link it down below <laughs> right. same <laughs> um west me on let's go So this is great. We parked there, which is obviously like a good siding because it's got all the cattle type things there, I guess. And now we are. The thing is, oh look at that. This is West Mill and it's great. Brilliant, look at that. Oh, I love this, Rebecca. This is so cool. I, I love it when they just they keep loads of stuff and they don't remove it or try and better just leave it as it is, as it was. So we're now walking between the two platforms, obviously, as you can see. <laughs> so <Is it> away? <laughs> this looks, it looks thin, but so the line was a single track, I think. Yeah. That would make sense, given yeah. the fact that it's not very Well, close. no, but, 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 but they, this is double track, right? They yeah. built it, they built the whole line wide enough to be two tracks just in case, I okay. think. Um, so although there was one track going up and down the whole way, I th again, I think, was obviously loops in that. But I've got a funny feeling the whole thing was single track, but built. So all the bridges were built wide enough for two. Um, all the, everything was built wide enough for two, just in, just in case. I think. Yeah, isn't it? That's different. So Rebecca just pointed out this side, which looks very different. And that, well, both sides, yeah, it's a good point. Both sides, are, it's got curved. Um, right there is curved, very smooth. And I've not seen that before. Maybe that's a feature of the company that built it, perhaps, I don't know. So what's your thoughts from West Mill, Rebecca? It's lovely. It's really, really lovely. just approaching the north entrance of Meon Tunnel. I'm guessing it's like an old store or something because it's it's got breeze block and two large gates basically. Right we're not going to stick around um, although there's no signs here whatsoever the same private or anything. I'm guessing we're not on a bridal way so we um, don't want to stick quick around. Respected look. Yeah, quick, respectful look. There are no signs either saying private, so we didn't. That's cool. But obviously the entrance says radio alarmed. So we won't go any closer. We won't go any closer because we don't want to disturb anybody at the very least. So you <laughs> you join us um, now looking for um privet tunnel south entrance to privet tunnel we parked up a reasonably sensible spot um just before privet station so we've read a few bits on forgotten relics website which is great but they've said a couple of things which doesn't quite add up so for example on this entrance here which is the southern entrance they have suggested it's been ploughed up, the entrance has been ploughed up. Which seems really strange because when you look on a map, it doesn't look like it at all. You look from above and it's all just trees. 
this is as far as the public Broadway goes before it heads off in the opposite direction to the tunnel. The tunnel's down there. We're not going to be able to get down there in a million years because it's sort of, I reckon it's 15 metres down. Yep. So we need to either walk that way for 200 metres and cut in and cut across, which will be trespassing anyway. But also, although even if we manage to sneak down there, it's 15, 20 metres down in a sheer drop. This is a very steep elevated tunnel. So we should just um, call this one a bit of a no and move on to Privet Station. We still found it, we just yeah. can get at it. Yeah. It's fine for this time round. Yeah. Right, we um that was what was this Tis tisted? Tisted. So we're in the village of East Tisted, which had a station called Tisted, which we've kind of just seen, but it's kind of hidden away, isn't it? So we took a couple of shots. Yep. Which we'll overlay shortly. Um and then we got caught on a massive downpour. Yeah. It wasn't supposed to rain today, it was supposed to be sunny. But nevertheless we got caught in a um I can't see out of those. Caught in a big <laughs> a big downpour. <laughs> Interestingly as well, that wall of sleepers. How cool is that? Yep. Right people, last stop. Rebecca wants another Christmas tree. We've really got a Christmas tree Rebecca. <laughs> Why do you want another Christmas tree? There's a place just down there selling real Christmas trees. Mm. And for the last 10 years we've got a real Christmas tree. Um, and this year we've got a fake Christmas tree and it looks great and the kids love it and we love it <laughs> and now Rebecca wants to buy a real Christmas tree from down there. Can't we have two? We can have two but we've got a lovely one. Mm, <laughs> anyway, we're now on the most northern end or the last stop on the Mion Valley line before autumn which is Farringdon Holt. We are apparently as we just read out looking for a 10 metre, well one coach. Um, platform whether it's still here or there's any remnants still here who knows um, so we shall carry on up here and have a look you can walk pretty much now from here from Farringdon on the line all the way up to Alton whether we make it to the Basingstoke and Alton light railway today is another question so we may retitle this one and just call it the Meon Valley yes. section of every few stations and it's only gonna be nine or ten stations but I might make a nice video out of it. Yeah, definitely. It's been some nice places, hasn't it? Yeah. So that's a fair size industrial estate for a little village that we're in. And that's the southern end from Farringdon, um, which is obviously a industrial estate. Here is the northern side so looking down. And as we said earlier, you can walk that way nearly all the way to all, pretty much. So we're going to get down there and see what we can find in terms of evidence of a one coached uh, platform. Rebecca's all the way halfway down there I think already. Possible to tell, isn't it? It might even be on the other side of the bridge. Where no. the industrial estate oh. is. Could be here, yeah, couldn't it? What's all that? Good point. Yeah, just literally on the other side yeah. of the bridge. So we don't know. If anyone knows, let us know. Um, north side or south side was a platform. We assumed north side because you can still get to it, but that means nothing, does it? It could well have been that side, that's a very good point. And um, nothing obvious here at all. And there wouldn't be, would there, with a with a one coached halt that was open for a handful of years, mainly for um, agricultural, was it? I think that's what you said. Wasn't yeah. It? There we go. Right. So Farringdon. Yes. Dick. Um, right. That's a Meon Valley done. Right. Yeah. So that is the Meon Valley done, and it's mid afternoon. We need to go and get some lunch. We're not even going to be able. To, it's going to be dark by four, half four. And we're only like an hour away from that, aren't we? So I think we need to call it a day today and call this video Me on Valley video day, which has been really good. It's been, yes. there's been some really good places. Yes. So we hope you um, approve 
right we're gonna go and get a sandwich so um, thanks for watching as always we do appreciate your comments and your input as ever um, it's really good to hear from everybody and so, your followings and the followings and everything yeah so keep it going for us and um, tell your friends and peers and colleagues and children and grandparents uncles and aunts and parents he missed the parents and his parents yeah he did christ yeah. tell your parents my god <laughs> Um, and everybody else you know about this wonderful channel, which isn't just disused railways, it's us messing around in it really. Yeah, enjoying it. Basically. Have so, fun. Um, yeah. Laters. Oh, he's seen us.